movie junkies, welcome back to Twin Flicks, where we here celebrating the magical movies and physical media with you. So this video is going to be just a little bit different uh, than my usual reviews, where I uh, compare 4K to the previous Blu-ray releases. Instead, this is going to be just a straight uh, review, because I received this from Sony Pictures' Wicked Little Letters. And... Uh, yeah, I have a lot to say about this movie, so let's get into it. So Wicked Little Letters is based on a true story taken from eyewitness accounts, uh, court records, uh, even Edith's personal diary, which we see her write in in the film, and also some of the remaining letters. And all of this was used to sculpt the script and the film. Now, the events took place in the 1920s in a small seaside town in the UK. Uh, two neighbors, Edith, played by Olivia Coleman, is a conservative local, and Rose, played by Jesse Buckley, is a rowdy, foul-mouthed uh, Irish immigrant who moves in next door. Uh, Edith and Rose quickly form a friendship. However, that friendship turns sour and they end up becoming the worst of enemies. When Edith and a town's resident start to receive anonymous letters full of profanities and threats that causes a huge uproar in the community and all fingers point to the newcomer, Rose. And Rose is brought to trial. However, a policewoman starts to suspect that someone else is behind the letters. Now, honestly, Wicked Little Letters is just one of those little films that I just love. And we just don't see often anymore, especially in the theaters. This is just a terrific little film uh, with some outstanding performances from the entire cast who feel real and genuine. Uh, they feel like real people. Uh, Jesse Buckley, who has quickly become one of my personal favorite modern-day actors. I mean, she just steals every scene that she's in in every film. Uh, but put her up against an Academy Award winner like Olivia Coleman, who also gives a terrific performance as Edith. And on top of that, a writer and a director who understands the material and how to use the material. Then this is the end result that you have. Now, the trick with Wicked Little Letters on a filmmaking level is having a dramatic narrative that also allows for comedic tones and performances while also having engaging characters without ever overshadowing the plot. And this is exactly what the film does so brilliantly by weaving all of these themes um, of humor and drama that really helps fostering in a sense of accessibility, uh, encouraging conversation, and also reflection in a way that honestly a more obvious, just straightforward drama couldn't do. If the movie took itself too seriously, or even the other way around, where the film was too comedic, it just wouldn't work. Instead, the film balances all of this just right. And that really just comes down to the, the script that was brilliantly written by Junie Sweet and also director Thea Sherrock, who understands how to use the material appropriately without it going into convoluted territory or without it being overly dramatic or overly comedic. It's just all perfectly balanced. Again, they know how to use this material appropriately. And also, given the performances, they're just first-rate. Olivia Coleman brings her sharp wit and skilled use of cheeky language, proving she understands the character. And again, she gives a terrific performance, but I honestly just could not keep my eyes off of Jesse Buckley. She gives a likewise great performance, but also her performance tugs on the heartstrings without her ever saying a word. Just by using her expressions and her body language as she's forced into a trial that could ruin her life forever where she could be sent to jail and her daughter sent to a foster home and Olivia Coleman and Justin Buckley just really elevate the film. The only downfall I really had with the film is that I did feel it was a little too predictable at times. I did guess who was the real culprit behind the letters right away so I didn't leave any room for some kind of mystery which I really think would have even elevated the movie even more so by, by having a, a real mystery of finding out who wrote these letters. I think it would have made the movie even more engaging. And there were also other things throughout the film uh, that just felt like what happened was just too much of a coincidence. And it did take me a little bit out of the movie here and there, where I thought that possibly couldn't really happen like that. But then again, sometimes life is stranger than fiction. So I'm giving Wicked Little Letters a 4 out of a 5. The film is deserving of more attention than what it's been receiving. Definitely check it out. 
Now, Wicked Little Letters is now available on demand or on a pressed mod DVD like we have here in the States. I know with our friends across the pond in the UK, there is a Blu-ray release out there. So I'm really hoping that Sony will release a Blu-ray here in the States soon. All right, guys, I want to thank you so much for hanging out with me for a few minutes as we talk about Wicked Little Letters. As always, guys, keep physical media alive, and I'll see you next time.